Hello guys, welcome to another episode of my Iron Man series. This is Nico, and in this episode, we are going to grind for Priv. And we are going to do a lot of quests leading up to Priv, so bear with me. I will also be showing how to do backup tank at Beastmaster. So, hope you guys enjoy. Leave me a like and please subscribe if you like the content. So that is the first quest in this series done. We are done with Cabin Fever. Actually, I wanted to do this first because I needed to go to some obelisk for familiarization, but I guess I did it slowly and I missed it. So I just have to wait for the next one. All right, by siphoning this one, we should get level 60 in invention and that is our base 60 in everything oh my god this is such a good level thank you i love industry so much okay so another week and we have gotten our pair of replica statue piece so we are progressing further now still not even wanted of the way but now we have three pairs of rock pieces let's go we're about to get another level here after a very very tedious grind and with another two flot some prawn brokers and this one you will get 75 construction and that's mean one of the requirements for plagues and is done and we can now make gilded marble altar this is like super good especially when i wanted to train uh prayers in priftiness because i the, the house is so close to a bank i don't need to teleport a lot and i can skip the wilderness but I think I fancy the wilderness more at this point because of the uh, marantel requirement so I can skip on it so gonna work on summoning now 70 summoning 71 summoning 72 summoning 73 summoning 74 summoning and now we have all the levels we need for one of a kind but now we just need to make like 10 more trips for 75 and that is the requirement for plagues and 75 summoning this is the moment that we have been waiting for now we have all the levels we need for plates and so let's get that quest done now let's all right uh the quest is done ship herder and for such a short quest gave us four quest point it's quite a lot so uh now we can move on to the sub quest for uh light within or within the light i don't remember Let's go. Mornings and part one. And we got some hefty amount of lamb. That is super good. And now we can start morning ends part two. Funny, I was just going to ask you the same thing. <laughs> Will I ask first? Imagine we did this whole shenanigans and Torgel just came 
came from the back is in the back door oh my god and we like finish this whole temple with one minute left of our family our banyip okay let's hope that we don't get some silly requests for the death talisman so now uh torgel the dwarf just asks us for a list of 50 items i believe and we better get on to it we rotated the light to the cyan door so that's check and now the most worrying thing in this list is actually the agility arena ticket but the rest of it should be easy enough so i think i'll just come with uh i believe i, I can bring a war tortoise or something shouldn't be too hard so let's go okay that is our first set done okay now we just need four more items that is not so hard to get so let's go and get them okay so i got all of the item that we need but i'm pretty sure that we actually made a mistake can you spot what is the mistake yeah i bet you can right now because i forgot to turn the crystal back on my way out <laughs> even though that i have all the left over oh my god so i need to redo the final part of the quest again it's fine i guess so let's go we are here again i didn't take too long only five minutes because i did it earlier so that's fine it's not too shabby but let's go and complete the quest Torkel, I've got some out of them with me. Let's see. Yay! Now we have our death talisman. Uh huh. Okay, we got charged it. I believe we can come to here whenever in the future. Ooh, that's pretty cool. But never mind. So we just need to get back to the top floor. All right, we have completed Mornings and Part Two, and we got twenty k agility. Thank you for that. And now we have access to the Death Altar Crystal Trinket. Okay. Thank you. Now we need one more quest, which is the catapult construction. And we got 300 quest point now. So, nice. Let's go to the main caravan and get our fortunate components. Oh, I didn't wear my ring of fortune. No. Okay, we at least we got one million for free and H5. Okay. Can disassemble this. Thank you for that. Okay, after all the struggles in quest, we have finally completed it. We just need to pass this report to Aryan Win. Alright we have completed this quest it doesn't take us too long probably 30 minutes at best and there is a lot of experience do we get any level okay there is no level but as uh we finally grind towards this we can start this quest now 
Mm -hmm. Yep, we have all of the requirements and now it's time to knock place and out and get into brief. Okay, we gathered all the elders in the same room now and we can storm brief dinners. But before that, I need to go to the Grand Library and kill the Dark Lord. Okay, we killed the Dark Lord and we empowered the Seal of Saren. So, I think we have done this quest. I'll see you in brief dinners. Uh, yeah, sure. Open the bank with the symbol. <laughs> okay. Uh, Aryan, we need to. Yay! We have completed plagues and and there is a lot of experience and we also get an exoskeleton uh, set for thieving i believe so thank you let's just take all of this experience let's see if we get a level any level hey we got three level i believe one in agility, a uh, blur. Okay, now we can make grand magic potion. That is pretty good. At least it's something. And then eight to dungeon ring. Yay! Thank you. So, what's next? Can you teleport me to brief dinners? Okay, I'm just gonna take you guys to a tour. Let's see. Oh. Okay, I have to click on them. Pass briefliness. Hey, let's go. Yeah, boy, yeah, boy. I miss brief so much. Yes, we are S1. Please be with you. Thank you. Aryan, when you should change into a better gear, I reckon. Now I have this option of skipping the cutscene but I'm just gonna watch it. So let's enjoy. Look, they are just wandering around without a care in the world. Without knowing that I did the most work. Stop. Chilling around, is this like some kind of academy or something? Everyone is wearing the same clothes. Like, <laughs> you guys have no diversity. Oh my god, you're so ugly. Trees are ugly. How the fuck did you miss it? Target is so close. Oh my god, you're so bad. Okay, I'm gonna shut up now. Okay, that is the tour for brief dinners. Let's go and check out some stuff. I actually wanted to go to Ethel, but it's actually happening, but I still cannot do it. I need like one more level. So I think I'll just do the penguin later on. Hey, let's get to the, oh yeah, yeah, we can do the dailies, at least we can get some nice, uh, potion flask. Yeah, boy, now we have our new dailies.
okay, now we got our priority straight. Oh, look, that's our friend here, Zaim. He's ASP wasting. Oh my god, this dude. Okay, see ya. I'm just gonna do my half in pose. I'm enjoying this, like reliving my noobs time when I just first unlocked brief on my main. So now I get to unlock it again, so it's pretty good. What a good feeling. And if you've never been here before, you can see that this is actually a pretty AFK things to do for 20k experience a day. And uh, it changes the uh, pose every 30 seconds, I believe. So we can just... No, no, it's not actually every 30 seconds. It's just super random. So if you are doing something, you can just like... Uh, leave this to FK and if you do the wrong boost for example here is she's doing ward and we just doing bow so we get less and less experience but still helps so we actually got a new personal record here it's sub 2 now so let's go okay just beaten our personal record again even though by one second okay so for this clip i'm just going to do a voice over on how you want to do a backup tank so basically this role is called busc which stands for backup and soft charges but I skip the soft charges part it's pretty similar to north charges so I've enlarged my ability bars and the status bar on the left side of the screen so the DPS rotation here is just really minimal you just want to do what you can do best but try not to use too many adrenaline because who knows in any given time you just want to use any special abilities like a barricade or something and you want to be ready for that and so now we are waiting for the pets either to die or beastmaster reach 750k first and as you can see at this point, we are just, uh, the pet is almost died as like 10% hit points left. So uh, we, we are going to keep our uh, adrenaline at 100% just to be ready to vote. And this ability is actually called Provoke uh, in the defensive book. So uh, when we use it, it will... Uh, get the beastmaster attention to us uh, we are basically drawing aggression so we are going to vote in any moments now because it almost reached a 750 and the pet is super close to dying okay so vote and then you can just skate and you can see the stack is building up it has two stack on us we are going to try to free them uh, after three stacks and now we have reset it to one so it's going to reset our defensive on the fifth one so we are just going to devotion here and if the back, back uh, if the base tank is good he's just gonna vote us back after we reach our five stacks and that's it so that is the first part of uh, backup tanking so now we're just gonna free them again uh, to release our stack or we can just like let it run out by itself so while the backup uh, sorry while the base tank is running we just want to see in the middle so it doesn't storm us and get ready to vote again when we have our barricade up so now the stack is gone and we already at 100 we should be ready to uh, vote and barricade again because the ba uh, the base tank is probably at uh, 5 stacks 
So what I do here though, I use reflect because I like the damage that he is doing at us. So at least I could help in some way to fasten up the kill. So we're still at one stack. We shouldn't try to walk on the corner like I did in the previous video. Because it will storm us and that's how we get the 10k damage. So uh, it seems like the base already relieved uh, his stack and now we took it back. Alright, there we go. The team is super swarm, but we did it. <laughs> Rest in peace. That was super harsh. <laughs> like, got stacked with 8 bombs and nobody is defusing. Okay, let's loot now. We didn't die and we should be able to reset after this. Collect this master doors, loot, and. Ooh, okay. Thank you. Level 90 in mining. And now we can mine like Animica and Ta Animica. We are just doing the ethel hour of gathering a lot of soft clay for our urns. So I thought this one would be the easiest way because I don't have to use my uh, bracelet of clay. So, it's a pretty good level there. Thank you. Sub 1 minute trio card fight king. I think that is pretty good. It was a total melee phase, so I can just onslaught. <laughs> hey guys. Another day, another beast master. And we are going to loot it here. Wow. That is a lot of bones. I can reroll, but I think I'll keep this. This is a lot of money. Uh, okay. Our friend is back here again. Okay, he's donating a bond for free. Uh, okay, we just. Oh my god. Uh, thank you for my donation. Uh, okay, let's ask him if you want to say something. Oh, by the way, uh, congrats for the Golden Warden title. <laughs> Funny guy. Thank you for the bond. Milan Ali, the Golden Warden. Thank you. We can deposit this into our pouch now. Oh, we have five. We just need 50 more for our premiere. So, that would be all for this episode. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Next one will be episode 20 special. We are going to do a lot of Baragos, so I hope you guys stay tuned, please subscribe and give me a like and I appreciate all feedbacks. Peace.